<laughs> Fooled you, didn't I? Yes, it's English summertime and it's nothing like that this morning. So we've had superb weather all week and I've just managed to ickle out a few hours for some fishing in a little video. And my image of the start of the day was what you've seen there. But unfortunately, what we have is 100% cloud cover. It's fairly blowy, the trees are moving fairly quickly at the top sections and it's not even half past six in the morning. So uh, the dawn raid is off to a pretty grim start, but let's see what we can do. Well, I'm all set up. I've, I've set up with a Drift XL. This is a nine foot six rod for a three weight. And I've coupled that with a double tapered three weight line and I'm using the RS2 reel. Now, the reason I'm using the Drift XL today is I want to do a bit of trout fishing. Uh, so I've set up initially with dry fly and I also want to target the grayling, which are now back in season. Uh, most rivers allow grayling fishing from around the 14th to 16th of June, just depending on the river. Uh, I'm on the Avon, so grayling are fair game again. So to do that, with the Drift XL, I can fish away at 9 foot 6 with the dry fly, and if required, I can extend the rod to 10 foot 6 for bugging. So that's the, um, the reason that I'm using this particular rod today. I've, I've put on this outer shell because it does look like it's going to bucket with rain, and the last thing I want to do is traipse back to the car to get waterproof, so best to be prepared from the outset. Let's get on with it and see what we can pick out the water. Despite the wind, I've managed to get a couple of fish and um, I'm quite surprised because my casting's all over the place, but it's been great fun. It's brilliant to get out. I've been really busy at work and uh, tidying up the garage, getting ready for the home office conversion. I just needed to get out for a few hours. So the dawn raid was the best I can do. I've only got a few hours, so you're not gonna get much out of me today. But what I'm about to do is the pool behind me it's ideal for grayling. They'll be sitting deep at this time of year. And what I want to do is get down to them. So I'm going to take the dry fly off and change over to a nymphing technique. Well, I've set up with double nymph, and what I've used is some of the uh, some of this indicator wax. I've used um, the pink and the black, so I've got pink, black, pink, just a little bit. Uh, I don't want to um, trash my cast with it, so to speak, because I only want to be nymphing for a very short time. But it's just a quick way of uh, being able to see an indication of a fish taking. Now. The, the, the problem I've got, <laughs> stupidly, I've left my box of nymphs at home. So what I'm working with is a very, very small two nymphs. Uh, I've only brought like size 18s. They're on two millimeter beads. But because the flow of water here is not significantly quick, I think I'll still be able to get down and catch these fish. Oh well, so much for the nymphing. Remember to bring your nymph box next time, Lindsay. That was a bit like Britain's entry to the Eurovision Song Contest. Nil pois. 
So back to what I have got. I'm going to go back to the dry dropper and uh, see how I get on. Let's move somewhere else and see what we can find. Well, it's midday and that's my dawn raid over. Uh, how have I done? Not very well, to be perfectly honest with you. I've caught two or three wild fish, but um, I was hoping to get a couple of grayling and I've not had one single grayling. My casting's been poor. My approach to the river has been poor. And in this low water, them things are just unforgivable. I've paid the price and I've not caught very many fish. How could I have improved on my performance today? Well, that's simple. I could have left the camera in the car for a kickoff. Uh, when conditions are like this, it requires your undivided attention and you can't be messing around making videos. I should have been on my hands and knees, I should have fined down my tippet, and I should have remembered to bring my mud. So for all the morning, I've fished without my leader being degreased. And uh, in clear water like you have on the Avon, that's just unforgivable. So I haven't done very well. Uh, take it as a lesson of bad angling, and hopefully next time, I'll do much better. Thanks very much for watching the video. If you're getting any pleasure out of these, please subscribe to the channel. Your support's much appreciated. And I'll see you all next time.